Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Dustin Nolf again, and we are on tip number 23 out of 30 tips in 30 days. If you're an entrepreneur, small business owner, or you're in sales, I hope you're enjoying these tips. So tip number 23 is achieve work-life balance. And when I say achieve work-life balance, I'm going to let you know and, you know, don't feel frustrated because it's not really possible to achieve balance, I don't think. Um, and, and what we look at, when I envision work-life balance, what it looks like, if you can envision two you know, sides of a scale, like that old school like justice scale, right? You've got work on one side and you've got life on the other. And the way I see it is, when you start getting burnt out from one or the other, you need to put more weight on the other side of that scale. So if you're working hard, you're working 80 hours a week, you've been doing that for months, and you're really starting to feel burnout or frustrated or like you don't want to do it anymore, that is a clear indication that you need more on your life side of the scale, right? So as entrepreneurs, sometimes we get stuck in that fear cycle where we fear that if we don't keep working, then something's going to stop or fail and our income's going to stop. And sometimes that's true, but a lot of times it's just our paranoia and our fear of uh, not having that income that keeps us in that mindset. So, and what I've found is when I start getting burnt out, I need to shift over to life, the life side of it. And I'm telling you, like my life side of it, if I'm on vacation where I'm not working for three or four days, that starts to be like my limit where I can no longer just do nothing uh, after three or four days. I need to shift back to some sort of work. It might be only a couple hours a day, but I do need to get some more work in there so I don't feel uh, like I'm, I'm not doing something or not achieving something. So I'd say strive for that work-life balance. Uh, the balance word is, is not, maybe not the best word to use. But you're going to uh, look to constantly be uh, juggling those sides of the scale and, and putting more weight on whichever side needs that weight. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you can implement it and uh, use it in your business. If you enjoy these tips, please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube. The links will be in the bio or under this uh, video in the summary. Thank you.